So So basically one master repository can have multiple work repositories. Work okay. Or at least like you no know, one master repository should be associated with one work repository. Work repository. But one work repository is always associated with one master repository only. Okay. One work repository cannot have multiple master repositories. Master repositories. Yeah. Okay, this is a typical uh, architecture. The master repository will hold information related to security, The master repository will hold information related to the security manager. Okay, the security topology and the versioning information. Okay. Okay. Versioning in the sense what? A versioning of the mappings, ODA mappings, okay. or versioning of ODA procedures, ODA okay, scenario. Okay. 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 Okay, we'll be creating uh, various uh, code, right? So versioning of the code, basically. Okay. Then coming to the work repository. Work repository will hold information related to designer, operator, and agent. Okay. Okay. So here. We have four tabs, right? The designer tab, operator tab, topology, topology. and the security. And security. So the designer, in designer, whatever you build, that information will be stored in the work repository. Work repository. Okay. Okay. And uh, we go to the operator and check the logs, everything, right? So all that log information will be available in this work repository. Okay. Whereas, like, no, the security, where we'll be creating the users, the profiles, everything will be stored under the master repository. Okay. Okay. Just one second, Banya. Okay. Yes, Ranga. So, what we'll do is uh, we'll create one 
schema where which will will be using as master and the work repository okay if okay. you want we can like you no know, create two schemas one for the master repository and one for the work repository or both we can <coughs> create in a single schema see okay we uh, while what we can say for developers they will give only access to the work repository i think is it right no both we need they will... see basically like you know they don't give information related to this work repository and master repositories okay 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 okay, okay. like you know if you want we can uh, take the permissions from the odi admin okay okay yeah so uh, right now like you know let's create a schema or a user so i'll say create user let's name it odi underscore dev repository okay okay then to side by i'll use the same password so that i don't forget but in real time we'll be using like no complex password okay 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 so now the repository is created after creating a user we need to grant it few privileges yes. i'll say grant connect comma resource to odi underscore dev underscore web schema which we have created above okay okay so even the grant has been succeeded okay now okay dev repository okay, here i'll give odi underscore dev underscore rep my password is also the same okay so now okay. if i go over here we can see that all the tables are empty because we just created one particular user right yes there is no tables in that <laughs> no tables in that and let's assume that like no we don't have uh, we have not created any repository as well in odi okay so now let's go and create one so we, we need to go to the file click on new and we'll say create a new master repository okay and click on okay okay our database type is oracle so i've selected oracle once you select oracle the jdbc driver will come automatically here okay under the jdbc url give your host name mine is local host port is 1522 port set 1522 and service name is or cl2pdb okay the same things what we have here right yes okay this local host 1522 or cl2pdb the same things we have given over here okay then username username is od score web password is also the same okay. 
we need to give a DBA user. So the spot is a DBA user which I created. So let me give that user. Spot and the password for it. And let me test the connection. So the connection is successful. Okay. Okay. So here we need to provide one DBA user also for that particular database. And then we need to click on next. Here we will be creating the supervisor user. Okay. When we logged in, we you saw right there was a yes. super user supervisor user. So for that we need to give a password for the supervisor. Okay. Okay. Generally the default password is synopsis. Okay. I have given the password and I'll click on next. I'll say internal password storage and I'll click on finish. So now it is okay. It has thrown some error. So let's see what is the error. No privileges on table space users. So we need to grant that particular user privileges to use table space users. Okay, so let grant it. And table space users to Okay, so we are giving user unlimited access to the user's table space. Okay, now the privileges have been granted. So now rerun, let's rerun the creation of master repository once again. So you go to file, 
new create new master repository will give the host name which is nothing but in our case local host port is 1522 and service name is orcl2 pdb I'll give the ODI schema which we created for uh, ODI. Then we need to give the DBA user. Invalid username or password. Okay. I think for uh, DB user, I think it's wrong. It's, I think. No, I think with this ODI dev rep, I think. For that, you given same username and password, right? Yeah, now it is successful. Okay. Okay, for the supervisor, we'll give you a password. And we'll click on finish. These things like no, the ODA admin will take care of. But yeah, as yes. a developer, we just need to have a knowledge. Okay, now you can see the master repository creation was successful. Okay, now if I go to the database, earlier the tables were empty, right? But now if I see ODI has created few tables to store the metadata information okay. okay if you click on this snp user table you can see that like you know the supervisor user what we created is stored here similarly like you know the other users whatever you create in odi you can come and check over in this table, SNP user table. Okay. Okay. And after uh, creating uh, the users, you'll be granting them some profiles. So you can come to this user profile table 
and actually check what are the like no profiles assigned in the tables data is there in few of the tables right now the data is available but like no once you create more users more profiles when you create mappings everything right then automatically the data will get inserted into these metadata tables okay okay so like you know we have these profiles already available let me connect okay so let's click on connect to odi we will not use this repository we'll use the new repository what we have created so we'll click on the new button okay we need to give a name so uh, i will <clears throat> i will say go logic training okay username is supervisor and password is synopsis which we created okay, okay. then username is odi devrep then we need to enter the password for it which is the same in our case <clears throat> from the driver list i'll select uh, <clears throat> oracle jdbc driver under the url i'll select url and i'll provide the values this is our local host host name port is 1522 and service name is orcl2 pdb right now we have only the master repository we don't yes. have the work repository as we have not created right so i'll say master repository only the connection is successful i'll say okay and i go once again i will click on okay so you can see that designer and operator are grayed out because this information is available under what master repository is only security and so the designer and operator are under work repository and as we have not created work repository these are so grayed not. out yes okay how we can create the same process you can create work repository work repository also yes but you can see right the topology and security are enabled yes because these are part of the master repository security and topology are part of the master repository so they are enabled if you see this table the profile table you can see all these roles right profiles connect connect console designer yes yes all these things under the user we have the supervisor okay okay now we will go and create the work repository okay for the work repository uh, let us create one more schema okay i'll go to start i'll say create user 
Create it. So the user has been created. Okay. Now let us grant privileges to it. Grant is also succeeded. Now let us give access to the table space as well. Now we are given access to table space as well. Now let us connect over here. This was the master repository. So I will say it as master repository. Save. Okay. In this one, we'll say it as work repository. So, the it is work Save. Connect. So now we have created this new user for work repository and all the tables are not available. Nothing is available. It's just a blank schema. So let us now go to the topology. Under the topology, we have repositories, right? So here we'll create work repository. We'll say right click and new repository master repository we can create from the files and work repository we can create in the era right because the work repository has to be associated with the master repository master. Right? Okay, okay that's why okay so here if you want we can use the same schema for both master and work but just to show you the differentiation I have created as separately. We can have either way. Okay. Let's check the connection. Connection is successful. Uh, like the, uh, okay, it is asking for a password. So I let me paste the same thing. And then click on finish. That so name now, and password we can give it so own huh? Yeah, we can give it uh, just the like no repository name. Anything we can give. Okay. Anything we can give. Would you like to create a login? No, we don't need any login. So, with the same name, it has created the work repository. Okay. Okay. Now, we'll go to ODA and say disconnect. Okay. Now, if you see, ODA has like no created a few tables. 
under the work repository as well. Okay. Now let's click on connect once again. Go logica. I'll say edit. And now here I'll say work repository. Because we have created the work repository, right? I'll select the work repository and I'll click on OK. I'll just drink water and come in there. Yeah, just okay, one minute. Okay, okay, carry on. Yes, sir. Hello. Ah, yes, ma'am. Yeah. So now you can see the designer and operator have been ah, enabled. Yes. Earlier they were all grayed out, but now you can see the designer and operator have been, have been enabled. As we have like now created the work repository as well. Yes. And we have this agent as well. So if you go to the work repository, even we will have a table with the name SNP agent. What is the purpose of this agent? Agent like to know is used for two purposes. One is for like uh, no <clears throat> basically to execute the jobs. Okay. Can you show that our way after creating mapping we can do that? Yeah. Because that's his from full dude for me from long time that agent okay basically like you no know, agent is used whenever you execute a mapping or anything agent is the one which orchestrates the execution of the jobs okay, okay. and second is like you, know, you can do load balancing as well Suppose like no, you have uh, 50 mappings that needs to be executed. Okay. And if you have created two agents, then what you can do is on one agent, you can run 25 mappings. And on the second agent, you can run the remaining 25 for better like no, speed performance. How it will help to run that mappings that all we, okay, one, once we create mappings, we can see that then. Easy with yeah. and when we are doing that loads, uh, we will get an issue like due to ODI agent, the load is failed like that. Why it will occur? 
because the agent is down the as i said agent is the main uh, like you know object in odi which helps in orchestration or execution of the jobs right so if the agent yeah. itself is down how the jobs will get executed okay whenever the agent will be down uh okay maybe uh, why it happens due to um, See, there can be many reasons like uh, no to down uh, okay like can you tell like, me no? one example yeah. like like no you have uh, like no this is my server okay where i have installed the odi and the agent okay, okay. now due to some reason i had to bounce this server means restart the okay. server okay i have restarted the server but i forgot to restart the agent okay the agent is still down whenever like no we shut down the system everything all the services will get shut down right yes so the agent service is also down and after restarting the server we need to start the agent services also if you forget to do that then the agent will be down that is one okay. scenario or if there is some like no overload on it you try to run like no many mappings or loads in parallel okay and if the agent is unable to handle that particular load okay or like no you are trying to load some uh, billions of records millions and billions of records you are trying to like no move from one source to the another target table if it like no okay. if all the memory is consumed and there is no memory then also the agent will go down okay see okay. if uh, you told that so many mappings is uh, moving to target the server will be down at that time what we need to do to pick up that see uh, like you know if the server is up and only odi agent is down then we'll have to just restart the agent okay restarting agent also same data is there now same uh, how many mapping is there same mappings no no like you know, see after restarting also we'll have the same number of mappings to be executed okay yes but like you know if it is happening frequently what you can do is you can create multiple agents okay and then divide the workload in different agents so that like uh, no due to that load it will not fail because the workload will be divided among multiple agents okay or what you can do is like no you know like no this is one mapping where you are transferring huge amount of data so during that time we need to ensure that like you no know, only that one particular job gets executed we don't run any other job in parallel so that like you no know, it okay. gets full memory okay. and it will not fail okay we'll so see we while we developing one thing in that situation yeah and like no what you can do is we can do some performance tuning of performance optimization tuning as well okay okay like what you can do is <clears throat> you can use some partitions okay db partitioning okay so so that like no the performance will be faster okay or we can create some indexes or we can like no create some hints like that okay or like no if you have uh, many filters or many transformations then first what we can do is we can just pull the data as is into the same database and after pulling the data into the same database then we can perform all these transformations 
so that like you know within the same database means the performance will be faster okay etc so like you know there are various uh, permutations and combinations which will have to do to get the optimum performance okay like you know there is no, no single shot with which we can like you know get the best uh, performance or the like you know, best tuning method we need to try various permutations and combinations and see which is the like you no know, optimum way of getting maximum performance for that particular job in my project there are so many times that due to load is fail at old age and old age and like that so many times this is only the issue oh, okay we are on the support work where we will uh, monitor the load plans every day at the time we will saw that okay. like you know uh, uh, did you saw any peculiar behavior like you know generally at daily at two o'clock the job fails or the agent goes down or is it like you no know, when this particular mapping or load plan runs it fails anything like that or for like you no know, <clears throat> Any just time we can, can no every time morning at the production we will start loads at five o'clock okay and five to eight nearly eleven o'clock it will complete at that time just we will see the we will monitor the console if any load will fail just we will uh, give to give information to the IR team they will again restart they will not give access for us for uh, restarting the uh, load again just okay and we will get the message or uh, message like error message for because of what this load got failed like that okay, okay that's um, that's the information we know uh, more information we don't know but we not have any access to that okay yeah no uh, just to like uh, no just check for the pattern okay Pattern in the sense, like if uh, there is finance load, like first SD uh, will complete after silos, like PLP, like that. No, no, uh, not that pattern. I'm saying, like, okay. uh, no, when does the job fail generally? Okay. Okay. See, like, uh, no, when does your job fail? Okay. Just check the pattern for this. Then you will get to know, okay? If job it, will fail, means automatically will get the mail, automation mail. Yeah, yeah you will get the mail, but just okay. see for which load plan it gets failed. Okay, or due like to no, which package it gets failed, or some user ID or something. Okay, is it right? No, not the user ID not Generally. see uh, yesterday their load got failed due to the user and password expired that, that is a different case okay okay user id and password expired that is one error okay okay user expired this is one scenario but this will happen once in three months or six months yes Yes. Or a year, based on the like, you know, how we have created here, right? The user, yes. Yeah, they'll set the expiry also. Okay, here let's what I I will take one screen uh, screenshot from my error message. Tomorrow I will show you. You tell me what is that. Okay. Okay. What I'm just trying to explain it to you is Ranga. Like you know, yes. uh, the job failed. Like you no, know, say ten times in the last one month. Okay. 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 Just check for all the ten times. Is it the same load plan which has play, failed, or there are different load plans that have failed? Okay. Uh, man, only there is finance and HR. This load only will fail. Other loads won't fail. Yeah, under under finance, you will have again there multiple is... packages. 
ओके ओके अंडर ओके सो ओके लेट नो जस्ट चेक इज इट लेट नो रेगुलरली हैपिंग फॉर ओनली वन लोड प्लान और वन पैकेज और वन मैपिंग Okay. If it is the case, like you no know, daily, it is failing for say load plan. If it is like you no know, failing for daily load plan underscore finance underscore say employee. Okay. Okay. it is failing like you no know, 10 times the job has failed in the last one month one time okay. it is user expired and for okay. the remaining nine times this particular load plan failed daily load plan finance employee then you can tell your supervisor or your like you no know, lead that like you no know, i have checked the pattern in daily it is failing in this particular load plan so can you deep and fix this one so that like you know our in production it will not fail okay you are trying to understand what i am saying let's try yes. to like you no know, pinpoint let's try to like you no know, pinpoint why is it failing is it regularly for this one load plan if this is failing for only one load plan then this load plan has some error yes so if you can give this kind of an insight then your lead will be happy with you okay i will if check just, if if you just say him that like no job has failed job has failed he will not get impressed with you But if we can pinpoint and see, see that, like, no? as I am the fresher, so I am telling like as experienced guys also just they will keep messages in the teams like just the load plan they will give the load plan name and just fail that's it. Other than that they won't give any information. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like no. See if the, during, from the during... uh, if starting they are giving like that means at least I will also get some knowledge what to give like that. As experience, they also give like that. How can I get that? It's <laughs> not getting me now. No see, no see, no see. That's what uh, like no <clears throat> going to distinguish you from the other team team members. Yes. See, in a team of twenty or thirty people, only one will get the top rating. Yes. Okay. and remaining all will get average rating in one or two my get that. see i am fresher i don't know this information no, no. now you yeah, are telling no, no. no so i what i get telling... to know that uh, we can check like this i getting no now only i get to know that by telling you all. yeah no this information see, as you want to get the... they know this knowledge ha huh. like you no know, when you give your lead this kind of an information then you can expect the top rating yes next time i will do that yeah the rest will get average rating because they are yes. not doing anything extra or additional to like you no know, impress the customer or the lead if you want to get that like you uh, know good rating or like you uh, know everyone should get noticed so if you want to get yourself noticed then you will have to put some extra effort and you need to like you no know, catch things like this like you no know, why is it failing is it is it for like you no know, only one job that it is failing or even in a month like you no know, five times it has failed for this same load plan so even five times is a like you no know, good amount of time 50% so even if we can fix this at least 50% times will not get the error right yes. so just check for the pattern this at we can check in the oda yes yes in the oda operator only yes in the operator we can check this steps okay i will do once i will check tomorrow <laughs> the load which is failed load is there na under that i will check 
right okay one could be like you know this one okay, okay. second is like you know try to dig if you have access to it no they are not okay. giving if access if you don't have access us. yeah okay if they don't give access to you then we can't do anything at least for development instance do you have access yes for oda development i have access for tst also i not have access for oda okay so like you know you will have the sim not like you know exact uh, same as the production but nearly the same at least 70% 80% of the match in the development right so yes we can try to like you no know, debug that development uh, load plan and we can see why it is failing okay okay but that is the like you no know, second or the third step when you get some more experience you can do that but yeah but at this level what you can do is you can at least recognize the pattern and then you can like you no know, impress your lead that like you no know, see in the last month it has failed 10 times okay. out of 10 times five times it has failed at this load plan or next something like that and like you know which basically they will be looking at what kind of data okay yeah so that like you no know, they can reduce the failures because like you no know, if it is failing it's a not a good sign right yes in front of the customer so customer will expect a smooth run yes because if it gets delayed the business users will not get the data in the reports right yes so that way we can uh, like you uh, know improve our overall efficiency okay fine ranga so maybe like no we'll stop for here one more doubt and, we are every day monitoring loads now uh mm -hmm. the data every day the new data which is coming that only we are monitor uh, we are loading into production that's it uh. how the right. process that's only now that like you know basically we'll be having the concept of control table okay okay in the control table what we will do is whenever the load is finished we'll capture the time and store it in the database okay okay so say for example daily at 5 am the load gets kicked off right yes you know uh, i daily 5 o'clock my load will start right and say first we have load plan 1 then we have load plan 2 then we have load plan 3 okay 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 first lp1 will start then lp2 then lp3 so yes. this will start at 5 am yes and it will complete at 6:30 yes this will start at 6:31 am and this will finish at 9:26 am okay and lp3 will start at 9:27 am and it will finish at 1109 am okay. okay so what we will do is in the database we'll create one table no okay. control table and in the control table we'll store values lp1 lp2 lp3 Okay. and here we'll capture these timings 6:30 okay. 16 
November 23, 630. For LP2, we will capture 16th November 926. LP3 16th November 1109 Okay And okay. The next day When we run this load plan 1 We will check that like uh, No Next day when we run the load plan LP1, we will write a condition that pull all data which is greater than this date. It means every day new data will come, Maya. Yeah, every day new data will come. So we'll say whenever we run LP1, full data greater than this particular date. 16 okay. November 630. When we run okay. LP2, full data greater than this timestamp. For LP3, full data greater than this timestamp. So whether okay. you run one day, two day, three day after also, you will not miss any data. Every day. For example, if you take finance, every day how data will come into that new data? See, uh, you have a KFC restaurant. Yes. Okay. So every day people will come and eat, right? Yes. So data is getting generated. Okay. Similarly, uh, similarly see, finance. If, uh, See, Similarly, finance. Ah, okay. So daily, anyone will be like, you know, flying, going on site okay. from TCS. Everyone, every day, at least one person will fly, right? Yes. Go yes. on site. So that information will go into the finance system, right? So that yes, data we okay. need to refresh, right? Yes. Like that. See. Yeah, yes. Uh, for example, today we LP1 630 we completed the road, and after that, if any data will be entered tomorrow, load plan that data will be full. Is it right? Right, after 630 and LP2 after six... also after 930 and LP3 after 11 that if any new data will come, the previous data and plus the new data, both data will come into the tomorrow's. Is it right? No, not the previous data. Only, only new data will come. Is greater than half. Only the new data, okay, will new come. data will come. Okay, new data will come means, for example, today that uh, the data is less when compared to yesterday. But the time yeah. should be less now. But the time, should, right. time also should be less to complete that load. Right. But when we come into my situation, there is finance and nature load. Every day it will take four and a half hours to complete. When the situation, what we are explaining, if you take, see, uh, some days we have more data, new data. For some uh, some uh, days, we have only less data. Every day, we will yeah. not have the same amount of data. Right. When we come uh, coming to my point of view, every day, it will take for finance and it will take four and a half hours. And for budget and tech security, it will take one and a half hour like that. So every day, taking the same amount of time. How this will... See, if it is like, you no know, taking same amount of time, maybe I'm not sure whether this kind of logic has been implemented or not to pull only okay. the latest data. Okay. So we don't know, right? Whether uh, are we extracting the new data or the old data also. Okay. So for that reason, you'll have to go into the database and check. Okay, okay. Okay. <clears throat> we have these tables, right? Yes. 
so go and check <coughs> today in my finance table 40 records are there tomorrow check I is know. it the same 40 or is okay. it increasing okay. third day fourth day check for a few days we'll get an idea whether like uh, no are we pulling only the new data or the complete data okay if it is remaining only 40 40 40 each day then obviously no new data is coming in okay 